Hey guys, welcome to your singles love reading for Gemini. This is gonna be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love first, okay? Uh, what your blocks and challenges are in love, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, if there's anyone new coming in for you guys. So apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Um, Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Gemini, single Gemini's here. What's going on with single Gemini's in love? What are their blocks and challenges in love at this time here? We have the Six of Swords here. Ace of Wands. Mm. You know, I feel like right now in this very moment with the Six of Swords here, things could be very smooth sailing for you guys. I mean, some of you guys could be in encountering like a passionate encounter right now. You know, so I feel like, you know, this could start off as kind of like, you know, a sexual attraction or that maybe in this very moment, that's all you guys are looking for. You know, you guys are kind of like going along with life and just, you know, you know, just having fun, you know, being safe, obviously. Okay, we have the Six of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. The Seven of Cups here. Mm, interesting. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, you know, Gemini, uh, even though I might be talking about you through the lens of you, you know, just keep in mind, this could also be something that you're dealing with here, okay? You know, with the Seven of Cups here and the Devil card here, I feel like some of here just can't get over or let go of the options here. You know, I just feel like some of here love sleeping around. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is like some of here might have a sexual addiction here, okay? But I do feel like some of here is just only looking for a sexy time. Some of here is looking for passion here, but nothing more, you know? I mean, this could be you, Gemini, or this could be someone that you're dealing with here. And it could be one of the reasons why you're single here, uh, because I feel like you're dealing with someone here that's not you know, giving you the attention that you're looking for. I feel like this person can't let go of these options here. You know, with the Four of Pentacles here and Temperance, you know, right now, you know, in this very moment, you know, you could be holding back, you know, trying to step away. Let's say if you're dealing with someone like this, you're holding back or stepping away and you're focusing on your healing here. Let's say if you're in this position here, you're definitely trying to find solutions to your issue here. You know, maybe some of you guys might not see this an issue, but you know, I do get the sense that some of here is having very sexual and passionate encounters. And I feel like some of here could just be in this energy of just, you know what, I'm just not ready for love. I just wanna have fun and that's completely okay. We have the uh, tower, Aries, Scorpio energy and the six of swords here. We have the ace of wands and the death card here. Mm, I could understand here because I do feel like some of you guys could be coming off an ending of a relationship here. And I feel like you guys are just like, you know what? I'm finding my freedom again. You know, I'm independent. I'm on my own. I'm just going to go out there, have fun here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here, you know, it's also very important that as you're coming off an ending of a relationship, make sure you deal with the grief and the sadness of it and not, you know, run away from your emotions by, you know, getting under someone to get over someone that obviously is just a band-aid you have to get to the root of the issue of your pain in order for you to be able to heal and move on so that you know you could go into a new relationship with a com complete new queen slate that's if you decide to in the future seven of cups here and the six of pentacles some of the devil card here and the five of cups yeah i feel like some here is really disappointed over a situation here where i feel like some here gave a lot emotionally here maybe gave a lot energetically here too. And I feel like that was not 
being given back to you in return here okay tell me the four of pentacles here and yeah i feel like you're still trying to get over something here or that you're getting over something here where i feel like some of you guys could be holding in anger towards the person that has hurt you here you know so i feel like some of you guys could be having a hard time like i said dealing with your emotions regarding that the temperance card and also the ten of swords yeah i feel like you guys are coming off a major betrayal here yeah and like i said i mean this could be someone that you dealt with let's say this is an ex here this person's just sleeping around and trying to you know avoid their feelings here or or, or avoid thinking about you um let's see gemini what else do we have for gemini what else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on? What's coming in for single Geminis and love? <coughs> oh, God. We have the Nine of Wands here. And the Justice card. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. Jamaya, you are destined to find somebody else here. You will, you are destined to find your other half here. But I feel like the work that needs to be done is to really face your pain and your hurt here to allow that to happen. I don't know, I also feel like some of you guys might have given up on love because I feel like you guys have been through so much pain and so much hurt. Some of the pentacles here in the four of wands. Now, I don't really see like an actual person in and around your energies. I feel like this is more so like in your orbit. Like this will come in for you at some point. But I feel like someone here has to deal with their, um, their hurt and their pain. Tell me the nine of wands here. <clears throat> the lovers. Justice and the Fool. Could have, been, could have been dealing with someone here who's non committal here. I feel like you're trying to move on from this. Yeah, I feel like you're still trying to move on from this here. Talking about the Wheel of Fortune. <coughs> what the Hangman? Yeah, I feel like someone here is really hung up on. some major pain that someone here has dealt with and they feel like someone here is just having a hard time letting it go and like i said moving on from this here the hangman piscean energy in the world card here yeah i feel like someone here keeps thinking back about a past incident here and i feel like in this very moment someone here just keeps putting a band-aid on it by sleeping around with other people here instead of facing their pain and their hurt and obviously what you don't face will always come back around. It will always catch up to you. And a lot of times it catches up to you in, in actually romantic relationships. Yeah. So we have the Sun of Pentacles here. And the Three of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. And also the King of Wands here. Aries, Eagle, Sagittarius energy. I don't know if you, someone here is still trying to think back or think about working things out with somebody here or trying to resolve something here, but I feel like someone here is trying to get under someone to get over somebody here, okay? Yeah, I, and, and perhaps you are completely aware that you have to deal with your pain and your emotion. Perhaps you guys are just trying to maybe take the edge off a little bit. Yeah, like I said, put a Band-Aid on it for now and then deal with it later. But there's some sort of a baggage here that someone here is dealing with uh, that they still haven't really quite moved on from and that they're really still hurt over this. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.